Hi everybody. So we've had a lot of requests. Uh, guys and girls want to actually see the plastic get pulled over the mold. So we've been heating up our plastic here for a few minutes on the heater. It is just about right. We want to make sure it's all even. I can smell the outgassing, which tells us that's about ready. So we need to make sure that uh, on our two-stage table here, first uh, we're going to uh, energize the tank. Basically, we're going to turn on a vacuum pump, vacuum all the air out of that tank. And then once we have full vacuum, the plastic is about ready. And we're going to turn the first stage on, which is the vacuum cleaner. It's going to get a little loud. And then you watch what I'm doing. The vacuum cleaner is going to be running as I take the plastic and put it over the mold. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to reach up and then kick in the second stage by using that vacuum tank. So it looks like our tank is all charged up. I'm going to turn off the valve to the vacuum pump so it can't leak backwards through the pump. And here we go. What you saw me do with my knee there was I activated the uh, actual tank, gave it a real hard pull once I got an initial seal, and we're all done. Everything's off. And so now we're going to wait just a moment or two for that plastic to cool off. And we can see here what a beautiful job that's done. Believe me, if there's any little thing that looks like a defect, it is in the mold. It is pulled real hard, just perfectly. And I see we, we get a little bit of distortion up here, but it's got to pull so deep. I'm sure the plastic is a little thin here, but I'm happy with that. It's really come out beautifully. And so you may have seen me uh, playing with these guides, this really helps us get lined up. Just a couple pieces of angle iron to guide the back of the frame as we're putting it down. And we'll take a look real quick at the front of the machine. Here we turn on the vacuum cleaner. Here we open the valve to the vacuum cleaner. We can turn that off to prevent suction going backwards to the vacuum cleaner. We also have a one-way valve in there that you may have heard. It doesn't seal 100%, so this valve does seal 100%. This is a valve to the vacuum pump, and again, we can turn it off so that nothing leaks backwards through the pump. And this is the valve that connects our tank to the table. The vacuum cleaner is always connected to the table directly through this valve. There's no tank, per se, for the vacuum cleaner. And a couple of gauges, one which shows the pressure on our, our, the pressure on our platen, and we all are pulling full vacuum, uh, which is up, up in the 20s. And this is a gauge to show us the level of vacuum in the tank. Lastly, we'll take a look at the heater, which you've probably seen before. It's just a Walmart room heater down in a box with some foil around it. And then one last look at our part. Again, very, very happy. Real good pull on a very deep mold like that on, on such a small table.